Hey there, it's John Siskovich. I'm up in my orchard. I want to talk about weed whacking and mowing in the orchard and how I kind of skirted around some disaster again by keeping up with my orchard maintenance. So this was one of those things that as I read the orchardist books and the permaculture books and the natural books and the non-natural books that there was some contention on. Some people said that it was good to keep it scruffy or mow it in sections where some of it's scruffy and because it attracts beneficials and it keeps, you know, helps retain moisture, keeps the heat down. You know, there's a bunch of different things there. And then some people say, keep it perfectly clean. And if you look at any commercial orchards, they spray some chemicals and underneath all these trees right here, let's see if I can do this on camera, uh, underneath all those trees there would be dead, dying, or gone, the grass, because, you know, they'd be sprayed down and no competition. You know, that's how you could tell an established orchard. Sometimes it's just like the brown under the trees. So I don't do that. I don't, I'm managing it. I'm managing my orchard organically. Uh, I will spray some organic certified herbicide uh, to, you know, beat down some of the competition. But as far as my orchard goes, I'm instilling permaculture principles. I'm managing it organically to the best of my ability, abilities and knowledge. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of information there that's just really freaking hard to get your hands on. So with the orchard and the mowing and the grass and the weed whacking, you guys saw my videos, you know, it'll pop up somewhere where I lost a bunch of trees to rodents, had a lot of rodents. And this year, as in years past, I've tried to get other people to come up in here and weed whack and it came down to me coming up and weed whacking and because I thought somebody else was gonna do it, the grass had gotten tall again. So I went through and weed whacked before we trained all the limbs and as I was weed whacking, saw more rodent tunnels and a couple rodent holes and actually got rid of a few voles in the process. And it was the voles that were eating and girdling the trees, which killed them last winter. Now, keeping the orchard trim, I think is a great idea because any rodents that pop out now are gonna be seen by owls during the evening, by hawks during the day. Uh, they're gonna be easier prey for other animals and they're gonna stay away from my trees. Maybe they'll go to all the other freaking 52 acres that I have <laughs> and all the surrounding neighborhood properties and get out of my orchard. So we're keeping the orchard trim and clean. We're actually gonna go through and make this grass even tighter uh, in the future and just get those rodents out of here, keep the trees safe so we don't run into an issue again where we lose trees. So through the summer, we're keeping the orchard trim. Uh, we get to the point in the end of the year where the grass isn't growing anymore and we don't have to mow. But when I'm considering whether to mow or not to mow, for now, I'm gonna mow and keep it clean and hopefully we won't have any more rodents. The orchard plans continue and continue to develop. More on that in the future. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna stay in tune with that or anything else. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Until next time, I will see you out in the field. Mm.